You know, Christopher West, I was talking to him about traveling and speaking, and he, he said, like, it cannot not screw you up. Mm. Just having any amount of fame, yeah. which is a gross word to have to use right, right, in the church, right. but you know what yeah. I mean. You're on a stage, there's lights, people yeah. are... He said, it cannot not screw you up. Right, uh, just, right. Yeah. It's just true, isn't it? I think he's right. I mean, um, that's where you have to stay grounded. And yeah, how do you do that? Because people who aren't grounded probably don't know they're not grounded. So how do we know that we're grounded? Yeah, I mean... Other people in your life, I guess, if you listen to them. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the one thing about like my religious community. <clears throat> the guys know me, right? I, I, nobody knew me for like 10 years. I wasn't on the speaking circuit. when I was. Remember, I dropped out of high school. So my formation, I had to get regular college, then, college, then yeah. seminary. And I lived with all these brothers. They know me. They know my idiosyncrasies, my mm -hmm. oddities and all that. So when I come home, I'm nobody to them. Yeah. I'm no rock star to them. And that's good. Yeah. Right. Um, and I hang out with them. We watch Doctor Who. We just, you know, whatever, we, you know, stuff like yeah. that. Um, then there's also, I know my own personal stuff. Like, do I want to be a saint? I do. Totally. Right. But definitely a work in progress. Mm. I mean, I, I, I'm a stupid sinner, man. I go to confession a lot. I make mm. a lot of mistakes. Um, so I know like in the Filipino culture, for example, maybe you're familiar with this. It's so funny when they want a priest to bless them, they literally grab your hand and push it to their forehead. Mm. It's how they get a priest to bless. You don't do this so much. They touch your hand because they, your hands are holy to them. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, but I remember one time somebody saw that at a conference, the Filipino lady grabbed my hand as they often do and just put it to her forehead. The lady comes up to me, a white lady, and she goes, look at you. How arrogant. You think you're some king or something, you know, act like you, these are your servants. And I'm like, huh? And she's, mm. she's like, How, look what you did. And I'm like, I didn't do that. I said, that's their culture. And she was like, no, you're one of those priests, you know? Mm. And I'm like, I, I didn't do a thing, you know? Oh, wow. So sometimes you, you take a lot of criticism and people can be pretty rough because uh, they'll come up to yeah. you. Like, imagine this, Matt, like you're married. Imagine if I came up to you and said, you know, I know that almost half of marriages end in divorce, so don't jack it up. You know, I'm really rooting for you. I'm going to pray for you. It's really hard when people come up to me as a priest and say, you know, I know so-and-so really messed it up. Don't yeah. become like him, you know? Yeah. It's not encouraging. <laughs> yeah, you know what's encouraging is um, I, I got a good friend who uh, actually, well, I don't think he'll mind me saying, you know Mark, I'm going to say it in my American <laughs> accent, Mark Hart? <laughs> yeah, you know Mark yeah, Hart? Well, of course, the Bible guy, Bible geek. L I love Mark. Yeah. He's such mm -hmm. a lovely guy. Yeah. He, he texted a priest friend um who is popular, mm. you know, online and mm. said, I just want you to know, like, if you ever find yourself like with a whore <laughs> doing crack <laughs> off her back or something, <laughs> he, he probably didn't use those words, but he's like, you can always call me and I would love you. Oh. And, and the guy wrote back and said he was, he was in tears, you know, but like, that's the kind of love we've got to show <laughs> our priests. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've started doing that just to freak people out. Like my fellow priests, like, I just want you to know, like, if you ever hook up with a Sheila, you know, and you just, <laughs> you abandon the priesthood, like oh you gosh. could come to me and right, you could right, stay right. in our guest room and I would love you. Right, right, right. Because I know that I'm disgusting mm. and I don't have any doubts that you were also disgusting with the grace <laughs> of God by you. I mean, the priest right, and you right. and you, yeah. you know, so right. it's. Yeah, this idea that there are like super priests or super evangelists who are, right. uh, are somehow significantly different in their nature is is a lie. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a guru. And I, you know, unfortunately with social media, they call it having fans. I hate that. Mm. I don't have fans. I have friends, mm. right? But people will come up to me and they'll say, Father, I'm a fan. I've been a big fan for years. And I, tr I try to change it. Yeah. You're a friend, right? I'm not yeah. a guru, man. I'm not, you know what I mean? I want to bring you to Jesus, not about me. Yeah, right? I'm your father. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and yeah, it can be hard when the spotlight is on you and people have seen your videos or read your books and then you come into a place and they want your autograph and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it can be hard not to go to your head. But at the end of the day, I put my pants on just like everybody else does. Right. I'm trying to cross that finish line just like everybody else is. Mm. And so yeah. I remember Scott Hahn giving a talk in Canada and people were around him asking for autographs. And somebody said, like, can you sign my shirt or something? Yeah. And, and he declined. And but he did it in such a charitable way. He said, mm. maybe there's something more appropriate I could sign or something like that. But nice. because it makes sense, like if someone comes up to you or Scott or somebody and is like, can you sign? You're like, no, this is not about me. That's just offensive. <laughs> totally. You yeah. Know? Absolutely. Yeah. You don't want to do it like that. Yeah. Um, no father would do that. Right. So yeah. Um, the funny one is like photographs because I'm not terribly big like into the photograph thing, but certain cultures <laughs> are like Filipinos. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right. I love how much we've talked about Filipinos. Uh, I love Filipinos, man. I, I totally do. 
but wow, they love their pictures, yeah. you know, and you never get one. It's always one more fighter, right? And it just, once one sees it doing, you got a line of 200, you know? Uh, uh. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.